Hey, I'm Adam with Drone Nerds, and today we're in Las Vegas for one of the biggest UAV conferences of the year, Commercial UAV. Along with a ton of speakers, there are also about 225 vendors. So let's go inside and talk to a few of them. So first vendor we're going to check out is going to be Inspired Flight, where they have their IF-800, so it's a medium lift drone, and they also have a brand new controller, so let's go check them out. It's a pretty exciting show for us here. We're debuting a couple of brand new products for the Inspired Flight ecosystem. Uh, still, like, still going with the, the IF-800 Tomcat in our larger IF-1200 system as a core aircraft and Inspired Flight ecosystem. So this is one that we're pretty excited about, brand new ground control system uh, for Inspired Flight called the GS-1. Uh, bottom line for us on this is everything about improving the user experience. 2000 nit brightness screen, every type of hard interface that a customer may never need, LTE out of the box, HDMI, Ethernet, uh, hot swappable smart batteries with a three minute onboard runtime. Very easy to just pop in, pop out, <laughs> keep your operations going. So really excited about this, just the, the ruggedization it brings. It's an IP55 uh, controller system. Uh, bottom line, it's meant to be used in the field. And could you tell me about uh, some of the things that makes it uh, stand out? Yeah, I mean, it's, I think for me personally, just having used many of the, especially the NDA compliance, uh, controllers that have been available. Um, I guess that's one thing to also mention. This is a blue UAS system right, in conjunction with our aircraft. So fully NDA compliance, fully blue UAS certified. And what really stands out for me is just one is the screen brightness. The screen real estate, the ability at, to, at high noon in Texas or in Florida where many of our customers are located, to be able to actually see this um, even with sunglasses. Um, and it's like, it's one of those small details that unless you're in the drone industry, unless you're out in the field every day, you don't really think about. Um, but the ability just to see what you're looking at without having to like hide behind some shade is incredible. And could you tell me about the drone you have here today? So this is our IF-800 Tomcat. It's been on the market now for about over a year, and this is a, kind of the newest and improved version that we're debuting, uh, some new features and capabilities. Uh, what we're showing here is the Sentara 65R. Sentara is a John Deere company uh, based out of Minnesota, manufactures US sensors. We have a fantastic partnership with them. Uh, the Sentara 65R is our go-to high-end photogrammetry sensor, 65 megapixel global shutter camera. And then what we're really excited to debut here at the show today is well, the we co-designed a survey grade RTK PPK system with Sentara. Uh, with John Deere for this aircraft um, that's exclusive to Inspired Flight and these cameras. So the ability to inject centimeter level accuracy with a very clean workflow, like on the controller, being able to designate and preset uh, in-trip networks and to be able to very simply with the press of a button, click into a pre-designated, pre-saved in-trip network um, and gain RTK accuracy that way. Or what I'm kind of excited about on this system uh, especially for our construction customers that are running Trimble ecosystems, top Topmon ecosystems, uh, this control, uh, this RTK system can integrate with any third-party base station um, from Trimble, work with Trimble Business Center, Topcon, MLID, um, and then PPK fully integrated with Propeller uh, and kind of standard PPK workflow. So really universal survey grade RTK systems for the customers of ours either doing photogrammetry or multi-spectral analysis uh, really looking for that high level of precision. Also, yeah, could you talk about who are these drones for? Yeah, I mean, it's a great question. I'd say our biggest customer base for Inspired Flight is the geospatial industry at large. And that's really kind of split for us, I'd say half and half between customers that are operating LiDAR or running uh, broadly mapping missions, really uh, photogrammetry more specifically, uh, whether they're just doing pure mapping or whether they're actually bringing kind of the surveying science into that. I'd say that's the, the main crux of Inspired Flight's business. Um, where we're also seeing just an absolute ton of growth is in the energy inspection world, both electric utilities, specifically transmission infrastructure, as well as the oil and gas world um, for inspection. I think that's where this controller really starts to pay dividends is for customers that are doing really detailed inspections and looking for cotter keys that are just a couple millimeters in diameter. And then precision agriculture, lastly, is probably one of our fastest growing markets um, because of the need of American-made drones um, and our co close partnership with Sentara through John Deere 
um, and the multispectral cameras and precision we can bring with this uh, RTK system. Anything coming up that uh, customers should know about in the future? Blip. So the ability to do over-the-air updates is absolutely massive for our customers through the Inspired Flight Elevate ecosystem, kind of our desktop software. And really, with the, the ability to do those updates by itself, not that exciting. But what that means for users and our customers is we've really invested in beefing up the software teams at Inspired Flight, and pretty much every six to eight weeks at this point, you can expect new exciting software-based features to come out for Inspired Flight. Um, nifty tools like on the iOS app that we just launched a couple weeks ago, the ability to tap your phone with our app to one of our batteries and get all health telemetry, cycle counts, health information out of the batteries. Um, so just consistent improvements and iterations to our system. Um, and as we really build out our API infrastructure and the ability to tie into other partners in the ecosystems through the GS1 hardware, um, kind of the opportunities are just really exciting for what customers and end users can do with the i 800 and i 1200 platform. And anything else that you wouldn't want people to know just about Inspired Flight or really anything else? Our slogan is conserve resources, save lives and create jobs for a reason. Uh, the tools that we build that empower those kind of capabilities uh, mean a lot to us and keep an eye on us, a lot of exciting things to come.